have three different celebrity skincare brands that I tried so you don't have to. If you're new here, I'm Sky. Welcome to my channel. And today I have so many skincare products that I've been using for a while now. So I'm gonna let you know what I think if they broke me out, if I like them or not, or how they make me feel in general. But before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you so much for all the love y'all have shown me. I decided to do another skincare video because my last skincare video literally blew up so much and I had so many great feedback. I mean, I had some, I felt like a little negativity because you know, if you don't agree with something, sometimes it's okay just to. So first I'm starting off with Florence. If you don't know, Florence Skincare is by Millie Bobby Brown, which she's an actor. I know I first saw her, which I'm pretty sure everyone first saw her by Stranger Things. She was a really good actor. I was in love with Stranger Things. Such a good show. And then I know after that, she just kept on getting, you know, good roles. And But yeah, she came out with the makeup line and then the skincare line. Because, you know, when a lot of people come out with a makeup line, nine times out of ten, they're going to try to come out with the skincare line too. So for Millie Bobby Brown, her theme is more of a purple color. That's why I feel like, you know, a lot of celebrity brands who come out with a product or brand goes with is just a certain color maybe their favorite color or something i mean look at kylie her kylie signature color is pink like this nice like pastel shade of pink just really minimalist and then you have kim with her skincare which is really nude colors and then you have celebrities who have not necessarily a color but like kind of a theme going around like ariana grande's makeup brand i don't know hers is giving kind of like a space theme so i feel like if i ever came out with the brand i would honestly do green very blue very naturey but yeah oh also i got a new tattoo if y'all couldn't tell i don't know if i show my arms in a lot of my videos that's why my arm looks oily it's not oily i just put aquifer on my tattoo first we have the florence eye brightening cream i feel like i don't really have that much to say with it like i mean it's just like a normal eye brightening cream like it comes out like this it's creamy like that it feels really watery it's a little asmr that's how it comes out i don't know it's just like any other eye cream i guess it kind of has like tingling feel too i'm pretty sure a lot of eye creams have tingly feels so yeah that's the eye brightening cream and then we have her chapstick by the way all this stuff is gonna be the travel size because i got the kit so it's not gonna be the big size so all the products are gonna be way bigger than what i have but i have the chapstick and i put it on my lips it keeps on getting into my mouth and it's disgusting if you're gonna make your chapstick easy to transfer you to your mouth make sure it doesn't taste like hand sanitizer because it's so 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 bad it's like a gel kind of like look at that and then it has like a well you would think it would be oily by the way it looks but it's not like it doesn't really feel like a lip balm it doesn't really feel like anything's going on my lips but i really wouldn't use this and then for the moisturizer it has spf a lot of moisturizers don't have spf and i would rather my moisturizer have an spf but if it doesn't have spf i have SPF that I pump into my moisturizer because I cannot leave the house without my moisturizer But it, this is like a like a moisturizer that will turn you white. Um, it kind of turns me white So I feel like if you're more darker skin, it would definitely probably turn you right and this is only 30 I don't know. I feel like if it's 30 it really shouldn't be turning you that white. It turns you white for sure Yeah, that's I rubbed it in you would actually like have to take your time to rub it in So then we have the the face wash. This is a face wash to be honest, I don't really like the face wash. I don't know. It's just, whenever I feel like I'm washing my face, I want to feel like a freshness. I want to feel like it's working and I'm just having that clean feeling because, I mean, you're washing your face. I want to make sure my face feels clean. It feels fresh. With this, I feel like I'm putting moisturizer on my face. I feel like it doesn't do anything. I feel like it's just there. Like, oh, here's a face wash. Throw it in my face. Like, there's just nothing. I don't know. I just really wouldn't use this and to be honest i feel like her stuff like broke me out a little i don't know what it is about her products like i mean her little you know florence by mills is cute and everything but honestly this just feels like a cash grab i wouldn't use her skincare i also brought out 
the little whale eye patches which i already reviewed on my other youtube video so if you want to see that y'all can go check it out where i reviewed popular tiktok items i had already reviewed these to me her skincare line kind of gives like a tween vibe like if you're a tween come get my skincare i wouldn't really use it as a for real skincare you know i'm really picky about my skincare and i wouldn't use her skincare as my skincare routine honestly her stuff is bad like if i had a kid i would probably give them this skincare they wanted to get into skincare because her stuff is really basic and not too harsh on the skin it's like simple but just for me i'm like 19 years old um me personally i want to use it and as someone who used to have acne i just feel like i have a really different view on skincare and moving on we have kylie skin like i said throughout this video i'm not gonna be biased okay at all so kylie skin branding is just like um florence by mills okay she got the little pink branding going on i mean it's kylie she has her little you know cute little pink aesthetic brand and if i'm being honest i love her business thing but i don't know if i would trust kylie with my skin like my skin is very sacred to me like does she really know stuff about skin but the thing is like she has all the money in the world that she can like get the best people who knows about skin to make her product so it's like mm, i don't know this is her face moisturizer. It's really big, honestly. The pump can get a little no annoying at times. Like, look at that. Like, I barely even used it, and this is how it's acting. And it doesn't have SPF in it, so you have to get your own SPF if you do like wearing SPF. It is honestly so hydrating, though. Okay, I feel like I usually have combination skin, but it's like it's winter right now, so I feel like I've been having really dry skin. This hydrating moisturizer has really been helping me with my dry skin. I use this cream to help me with my skin because I used to have bad acne, and this cream helps me get rid of my acne, so I would use it here and there just because I get really scared to get my acne back. The cream dries out your skin a lot like you'll have white cast all over your skin and this honestly saves my life it's so hydrating it feels so good on your skin all you have to do is plop your spf in it and boom you're good to go it feels really light on your skin i love it a lot and yeah <laughs> kylie honestly surprised me with this a lot it didn't break me out also like i feel like that's a big thing it didn't break me out and honestly her stuff isn't like oh i forgot to mention with florence by mills florence stuff good price Pricing. Kylie's stuff, good pricing. Like, honestly, I was expecting more expensive, but I mean, it's like not cheap, but it's not expensive. Like, it's in the middle. <laughs> and then she also has this vitamin C serum. We, we love our serums because it just gives you all the nutrients that you need. Look at that. Yep. We love that, bro. And it feels so nice. It feels just like the moisturizer. Like, it's crazy that the serum and the moisturizer literally feels the exact same. It smells good. And it just feels so refreshing as the serum should. Like, you're putting all the nutrients that you need into your skin. So that that's very needed with the serum. Then we have the Makeup Melting Cleanser, which honestly is very, very much needed, okay? Obviously, makeup is a hassle to take off. You want to make sure that you are able to take it off like that so i feel like using a makeup melting cleanser is very much needed in your routine i've never heard of this before honestly until i had to make this video after i first used it because i was testing it i couldn't stop using it honestly i used it all the time along with the next product i'm going to show you but yeah this is very much needed in your skincare routine it, all you have to do put it on your face your makeup's gone it's crazy and as someone who's really lazy by the time they're ready to take off their makeup this comes in handy literally just go to the sink and just take off your makeup so quick and be able to go to bed like that so this is very needed <sighs> And then there was another thing I have, but honestly, it disappeared and I don't know where it went. It was the under eye cream. I love it. I don't have it and I wish I did. It has an application with it. It feels so nice. It feels so refreshing under the eye. It's my go-to, but I lost it, Sally. And it's so easy to put on. Like, you don't even have to touch it. Like, the applicator comes with it and it's so nice. I love it. Honestly, Kylie surprised me a lot. I've been using her skincare the past few weeks because of this video and honestly this video put me on because i'm gonna continue to get some of her stuff i feel like i'll continue to use the serum for sure honestly all of it all of it's good honestly kylie you surprised me and your stuff isn't even that expensive like some people i can name but i'm not going to but yeah kylie jenner young approved for sure last but not least we have fenty skin it's by rihanna 
she's an artist which you should know who she is and if you don't you're uncultured for real okay so i have the travel kit so all of her stuff is really small because like i said it's the travel kit it also came with the butter drop whipped oil buttercream i can't wait to use that i feel like it will be really nice on my skin and i would love to say look at her colors it is honestly so cute she ate with the branding honestly it's so adorable so i'm gonna start with the fenty skin melt off this is god sent from heaven i'm not even lying i love this stuff so much it melts my makeup off so fast and so quickly it's honestly almost all used look at that <laughs> this is how it looks gooey but yeah this melts my makeup off so quickly and it also gets rid of dirt and anything gunky on your skin the only thing i would have to say the packaging so the thing is the container that's hard right how are you gonna squeeze the stuff out see you have this this squishy thing right here what you do is you just squeeze like that you push it and it does that right but it's like especially when you're down to the end like me it's really hard to push and it's just like really inconvenient so i feel like that's the only thing with this is i hate how you have to do that like i feel like it's really extra and it's really uncomfortable for my fingers so i feel like that's the only thing that i have a problem with but other than that i love it and i use it all the time so yeah and then the moisturizer if you have have dry skin do not use the moisturizer this is the hydra visor moisturizer it has spf in it um like i said i use a cream for my skin for my acne that dries out my skin a lot i use the moisturizer i come back home for my face feeling so dry so like hard to move and i came back put more moisturizer on because i had put this on before i go back out and i come back and my face is feeling dry again i look in the mirror and just white around my skin and i'm like oh yeah this is this is definitely not good for dry skin at all so if you have dry skin i do not recommend this that means if you have oily skin this is for you whenever my skin isn't dry though i feel like it's fine but yeah it's also very heavy set on your skin just like the florence by mills moisturizer the only one that's not heavy set is kylie's moisturizer and then we have the fat water by fenty beauty bro this will get you glowing it's hydrating milky toner this will for sure get you glowing like if you want to have that natural like glow this is your go-to this is your go-to, okay? I've been meaning to get myself a bigger container because this, this stuff is unreal. Look at that. I guess you can just do like that to get it out or whatever. So that's how it is from out of the container. It's really nice. It kind of has a thicker fill than other toners would have. But honestly, this stuff is amazing. You would get that pregnancy glow without a pregnancy. Like, oh my God. Yeah. Okay, that's all from her stuff. Yeah, Fenty Skin is definitely young approved too. That's all. There's definitely other skincare brands by other celebrities like Kim K, Hailey Bieber, and JLo skincare so if you want to see those let me know and i'll make a part two their stuff is a little expensive so if you actually want to see the video you gotta comment down below and let me know i will spend a bank for y'all but other than that i hope you enjoyed my video and liked it and don't forget to subscribe i promise you won't regret it if you go check out my other videos i hope you have a good day and i love y'all all peace